India started the ODI series against Australia on a high after defeating the visitors by 26 runs via the DLS method in the first ODI at Chennai. Winning the toss and batting first, India were in trouble at 11 for 3, but Pandya and Dhoni took them to a formidable total of 281 for 7 in their 50 overs. After persistent rain in Chennai, Australia was set a revised target of 164 in 21 overs, but they never really got going as they were pushed back by Hardik Pandya first and then by India's wrist spinners Kuldeep Yadav and Yuzvendra Chahal, who managed to keep the visitors to 137 for 9 in their 21 overs. Obviously, uh, India got 20 30 more uh, what Australia would have expected. Australia would have actually wanted uh, India to be restricted by 240, 250, but then uh, the game was on. I thought. Yeah. Uh, 50 overs, 280, you don't get to see too much of 280 odd uh, run chases because yeah. normally in today's day and age it's about 300 plus which is a pass score but this could have been a great game of cricket. Playing in the first ODI against Australia at Chennai, former India skipper MS Dhoni reached yet another milestone. His 79 of 88 balls not only helped India reach a good total but also fetched him his 100th international 50 of his cricketing career. Dhoni now has 66 ODI 50s, a solitary half-century in the T20 internationals and he of course scored 33 50s before retiring from Test cricket in December 2014. After his player of the series performance against the World Eleven in the Independence Cup, Pakistan batsman Babar Azam has risen 21 spots to grab a career-best sixth position in the ICC T20 international batting rankings. Dashing West Indies opener Evan Lewis too moved up to a career-best third position post his 28-ball 51 in the only T20 international against England at Chestler Street. After defeating England in a solitary T20 international at Chestler Street on Saturday, the West Indies will start their ODI campaign against the hosts on the 19th of September in the first of five ODIs at Old Trafford. It will be a crucial series for the Windies as they need to beat England 4-0 or 5-0 to secure automatic qualification for the 2019 World Cup.